This is my dream car, but heel toe downshifting in it is an absolute nightmare. You're supposed to heel and toe when you want to be braking and downshifting at the same time, like this. And even though I have skinny feet with small running shoes on, I have a hard time doing that in this 1985 Celica because the pedal box is set so close to the transmission tunnel and the gas pedal is set much deeper in the footwell than the brake pedal. The reason that that is a problem is because even when this brake pedal is fully depressed, my heel cannot reach to blip the throttle while I'm downshifting. And seeing as there's no adjustment on the gas pedal, I'm gonna have to get creative. And that means either heating up and bending the rod that connects the fuel pedal to the cable, which goes to the throttle body, or get a pedal extender. So we're probably gonna take the latter of those options and find something in this garage that I've laying around to make a pedal extender. After some looking around, I found this, just a spare rubber block I had from an old jack set. So what we can do to this now is uh, cut it two inches wide. It's four inches deep. It's the same size as the pedal. And I'm going to cut it this way an inch and a half. And then what we're gonna do is put a hole through there, a hole through there. Same with in the pedal over there. And we're going to bolt this to the top of the pedal, essentially making that pedal an inch and a half taller. And then my foot will be able to reach from the brake pedal and blip into the gas pedal whenever I want more throttle while downshifting. Okay, there we have it, one simulated pedal. And I'm gonna say this right now, don't consider this a life hack, don't even consider it legal, because I don't know if it is. I just know that I want to have an easier time shifting. Okay, sit rep, by bolt, I meant to say zip tie because I realized before I go drilling holes in a gas pedal that you can't find anymore, let's see if it works. So that's on there like that now. I gave it a good shake, don't worry. It ain't going anywhere. It's not gonna get broke off and stuck under the brake pedal and driving me into a light post, I'm sure. Yeah, let's go test it out. It's gonna be awesome. First of all, it still feels very natural because none of the pedal geometry was actually changed. I actually can't even tell anything is different. Gross, that is the sound of mud. Lots and lots of mud. Looks like I'll be washing this when I get back into my concrete driveway. What happens most of the time in this car is I end up just driving in my bare feet anyway. I always take my shoes off in this thing. The tunnel is just too small. You always hit this wall. That is so much better. My last car was a Toyota Altezza and it was set up perfectly for shifting, for driving, the throw. I mean, you can tell they didn't quite care in the 80s. This is still a truck drivetrain, 22RE, thick five speed. In the 90s though, oh man, Toyota got it right. Everything they did felt so natural. And this little modification here gets this car feeling one step closer to natural. It's nice. One last little blast down the highway and make a loop back into town. Then we'll call it.
going any higher in this thing. Well, Wendy don't want to lose the hat. That right there is why you buy a 110 horsepower light sports car because you can drive eight tenths nine tenths absolutely everywhere and i'm not just saying this i wasn't going over the speed limit in any of that just rolling through the gears having a great time slow car fast that's the definition of it right there this or miata is always the answer i hope this video helped you guys understand heel toe driving a little better and i just wanted to show you what I changed on the car so it would work better for me in that particular vehicle. That was a nice short quick one, which are nice sometimes. I'm gonna get uh, back to work on this thing here. I gotta put a, I can't curl my wrist that way. Oh no. Anyway, I gotta put a mud flap on it and finish up some other things, but it's just about ready to go. It's all tuned up, new headlight, ready for boot scooting in the sunshine. Thanks for watching you guys. Uh, Tell us below what kind of funny mods you've done to your car to make it drive a little better. And other than that, have a great day. Thanks for watching, and we'll see you next Tuesday.